Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Today we're doing another What If video. Before we get into that guys, just in a bit of an apology. As I wasn't going to have a video out yesterday, as I usually do it every two days. But I just wasn't feeling up to it. I was pretty tired and just worn out. So yeah, I had to take the day off yesterday. But yeah, today we're back nonetheless. And we have got another What If video to do. And this one's actually requested by one of you guys in the comments on last episode of um, What If. So yeah, one of the comments I saw was, What if Mercury and Venus had, uh, it said, giant rings? So I'm assuming they're referring to like the biggest rings discovered. So... They're about 60% the size of um, Earth's orbit. So putting those around Mercury and Venus should cause some chaos. So we're going to go and do that today. So we'll do uh, one simulation with Venus and then one with Mercury. Um, and then we, I guess we could do one with both as well. But yeah, first off, we'll head to Mercury and start it here. So obviously we're in our um, custom solar system again with all of the modded objects. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and do this. So yeah, we'll just use um, Saturn rings for this. But we'll obviously extend those guys out quite a lot. Because obviously right now that's the default settings. But... The guy on the comments specifically said giant rings, so we are going to go with giant and go with the biggest rings that, um, yeah, biggest rings ever discovered. They're at the sort of size. They're about 60%, not 60, I goofed up there. No, I want kilometers. We'll go 6,000 kilometers out on the inner, but on the outer radius, the, the largest rings are about 0 0.6 Earths. So if we go ahead and do that and then add the ring to Mercury, is it there? Are there rings? I think, yeah, there are rings. That, yeah, you can see them. Yeah, that's quite big. So that's the largest rings ever discovered around Mercury. I mean, they go into the sun. The sun is going to suck some of those up. You can see it's already doing it. So we're going to go ahead and see what this is going to, what's going to happen. So actually, we'll leave it on flashlight so we can actually see the rings a little easier. But yeah, we're going to run this. You can already, look how much the sun is sucking in. It's already just shredding these rings apart. So we'll speed this up. We'll turn off the orbits. We'll leave trails on, though. But, yeah, look at these rings. They're just going to get absolutely obliterated by the sun. I mean, look at, look at them. They're, the poor things are just going to get... They're being pulled away from Mercury. The sun is too strong since we're very, very close to it at Mercury. So, you can see it's just tearing the poor things apart. I mean, and they're gonna, all going to get slung out into the solar system. So, that's going to cause absolute chaos for the other inner planets and other objects. Because a lot of these um, asteroids getting shot out. They could crash into planets. Who knows? I mean, Earth here... For instance, Earth could hit, get hit with a massive meteor storm from all of these asteroids. You never know. I mean, Earth's gravity could attract some of them in. And a lot of those could hit Earth. I mean, who knows? I mean, look at look at the state of them. They're everywhere now. Like, those rings, they're not even orbiting Mercury anymore. It looks like the sun has just um, stolen them all, and they're just orbiting the sun now. So, yeah, pretty crazy stuff, as you can see. I mean, they lasted about... Yeah, maybe a few months at max those rings they were just immediately destroyed by the sun but yeah now it's just chaos in the inner solar system with little asteroids being slung everywhere so the inner planets would have to watch out especially us on earth because yeah we could have a lot of incoming asteroids with all of these rings just being shot everywhere i mean ring particles are quite small but it's still a danger for them to be crashing into earth but um, nonetheless because there could be larger ones but smaller ones wouldn't be as bad but yeah larger ones could be a problem so yeah, little Earth here could actually have some problems. But yeah, that is what happens if you add them around Mercury. We'll continue running the solar, all these simulations. We'll see how far out these go, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to escape into the outer solar system. I mean, there you go. Mercury is being slung out as well. What's going on there? That's not right. Maybe it's because we're running it too quick. Sometimes it does go a little funny. Mercury's being shot out. But yeah, you can see the rings have now escaped beyond the orbit of Neptune. I mean, they're, they're past Planet 9 as well. I mean, these, these rings must be traveling, yeah, 15,000 or 1,500 kilometers a second there. So they've been slung out past the orbit of Planet Nine and the Goblin as well. So, yeah, the rings of Mercury have just created an absolute mess in the solar system. It would probably take quite a lot of years to clean up all of this mess. I mean, it's a lot of stuff being chucked around now. So, yeah, it probably would take a com an absolute ages to fix all this. I mean, these particles would obviously continually go out and out. But, I mean, look at this. Why is all the inner planets being slung out? What is going on here? What have we done? Why are all the planets escaping? That is... Is it because we're running it too fast? I mean, uh, the sun's moving now. I mean, what is... That's very funny. I've never seen it when you sp it shoot out all the planets when you speed it up. That is very strange. But either way, it doesn't really matter what the planets are doing because the rings are what we're focused on here. And as you can see, if Mercury had the largest rings, they would get slung around everywhere. And I'm assuming that would be the same for Venus. So what we can do is we'll run it again, but we'll make the rings a little smaller. And we'll see if, if Mercury can actually hold on to them or the sun is just going to tear them apart again. So instead of doing 0 0.6 AU, we'll put them to 0 0.1 and see if it can hold on a little better there. So yeah, we'll go into here again. 
So the custom simulation. If you want this simulation as well of all the custom objects, it is on the workshop. So you can go ahead and search it up on there. It will be called Modded Solar System, I believe. Let me just quickly search it up if you guys want this simulation. Um, so... There you go. So yeah, search up that modded underscore solar underscore yeah modded underscore solar underscore system underscore custom. Search it up and you'll find it, and then you can get it for yourself with all of the uh, custom modded objects in it. Um, but yeah, there it is. So right, we're gonna head to Mercury again. Right, so now we're gonna go ahead and have the rings again, but we'll make them smaller. They're, and either way, these rings are still gonna be enormous. So AU. So we're gonna put these at zero point one. So so one distance or zero point one distance of Earth. So add ring there you go so it's a little smaller i mean it's, it's definitely definitely a lot smaller but will mercury be able to hang on to these is the question so i still think the sun i still think the sun would take a lot of these rings away like we can sort of predict by putting a moon around it as well so for instance around an asteroid see that all of these objects here their orbit is sun i mean look how close you have to be for Mer to mercury for them to actually orbit mercury i mean you can sort of see any object further than this area here will just orbit the sun so that's literally the whole ring system so, let's see if my prediction holds up here. I reckon the sun's just going to... Yeah. Guessed it already. The sun is just going to rip all these apart. It does look pretty cool, though. Excuse me. But yeah, it does look pretty cool how the sun just starts orbiting. See, the sun's just stolen the rings, and now they're orbiting the sun. Maybe it's because I did uh, run the simulation a little too fast last time, because that does sometimes cause the planets to get thrown out. But if you run it slower, you definitely get more realistic results. But yeah, look at that. So... It's now just making a nice little ring around the sun. So it's just stolen the rings. You can see Earth here could get hit with a wave of the rings as well. But yeah, there you go. The sun or Mercury's orbit is now just full of rings. Look at that. That's quite cool. So if we continue to speed up a bit more, still at a fairly decent speed. So you can see Mercury and Venus's orbit, a bit of Earth's orbit as well. But there you go. They're all orbiting quite nice. So I'd say that's definitely a better test than last time where we had the super large rings. I think with a smaller set of rings, you get more realistic results. But either way, they never specified how large the rings had to be. But I still think 0 0.1 AU of rings is still pretty huge in size. I think that meets the criteria because, yeah, that, all they said was uh, if they had giant rings. I'm pretty sure I'd class those as giant rings. But, yeah, there you go. So I'm assuming the same would happen for Venus as well. We can test it with Venus as well. But, yeah, to conclude by it, if uh, Mercury or Venus had large rings, the rings would just be stolen by the sun and it would orbit the sun. So it'd just be a, a, an asteroid belt closer than the orbit of Earth. Some of them are getting into the orbit of Earth. Some of them are a little close. But yeah, most of them are in the Mercury area, as you can see. So that's where the rings originally started. So yeah, I'd say that is, uh, that's running pretty smoothly. I mean, we can speed it up. So if you speed it up, it just ruins it and the rings just shoot everywhere. That's not correct. But if I just kept it running at that slow speed, I bet you it would have just stayed the same. But yeah, let's go back into the simulation again. Let's just open this one up. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just I've named my version different. So there you go. Let's close all that. Right. So go back to the sun. Come on, sun. There you go. Then we'll go on um, orbits. Right. So we'll go around the Venus here, the sweet modded Venus. So, right. Um, let's go and add the same set of rings to Venus. Since we're a little further from the sun, maybe some of them will orbit. Who knows? So add ring. Right. So we need to uh, open the settings for that. And we're going to go to AU. So, 0 0.1 AU. All right, let's try that. There you go. So, they're now in orbit of Venus. But we are a little further away from the sun. So, maybe Venus can hold on to a little more of these rings compared to Mercury since it does have more mass as well. Let's uh, do a little asteroid test as well. See how far an asteroid can orbit Mer or Venus. So, yeah, you still have to be quite close to Venus to orbit it. But some of the asteroids are actually in this range. So some of these asteroids may actually continue to orbit Venus. So let's go ahead and click play and let's find out. Because there are rings here, you can see. Flashlight mode. And we'll also use a lighter background so we can actually see the rings. So um, where's the solid grey? There you go. So you can actually see the rings now. So let's see how many of those rings get separated from Venus. Alright, let's see here. Right. There we go. So you can start to see it there starting to be uh, pulled away, as you can see. Don't know what's going on with the moon's orbit there. What's going on over there? Why has the moon's orbit gone all funny? So there we are. So that's why I usually use my version, is because this version has moons in it, and the moons do make the game more more laggy, because it's more stuff for the game to simulate. But you can see that's, that's looking pretty cool, how the sun has just completely shred those apart. What is going on over here? We need to delete the moon. Let's quickly go ahead and do that. This is... Get, get rid of that. That's, that's getting annoying. Right. And put it back to the grey background. There we go. So we can see everything. Oh, look at the rings of Jupiter and Saturn have exploded. 
What's going on there? So, ah oh dear, that's quite annoying, because that's going to make out or mess up our test if any of those rings get in the inner solar system there. But there you go, same sort of scenario here. The rings of Venus have just, it's basically the same as Mercury, so yeah, pretty much the same results. The sun is just way too close for these rings to orbit the planet. Is any of them still orbiting Venus? It looks like they are. Yeah, look, some of them are orbiting Venus still, so like I said and predicted when I did that little asteroid test to see how far away the asteroids could orbit Venus... The, yeah, these ones are in range. So if we just pause, these asteroids here, so we'll just go on uh, the lighter grey background again so we can actually see. So there you go. So these asteroids here, they are within range to orbit Venus. You can see, look, see? Everything within this range, so about this area here, anything in that ring will stay around Venus because Venus's gravity is the most prominent here. But as soon as you get further away, the sun's gravity will take over. But yeah, so Venus can hold on to a little more than um, Mercury can. And obviously, the same thing would be with Earth as well. If you moved out to Earth, a further from the sun, so the area around Earth to orbit would be bigger. So the further you escape, and the more mass the planet has, the more rings it would be able to hold before the sun takes over. But I don't know why Jude and Saturn have exploded out here. That is very strange um, why they have done that. But sometimes when you save rings, they go a little funny there. But it's quite annoying why it's done that. But yeah, as you can see here, same results as we had with Mercury. All of the rings just get shredded away from the planet. Well, most of them anyway. And they just orbit the sun in the, the original planet's orbit mainly. So the sun just gets its own little ring as well. Or a new asteroid belt, I guess. So, yeah, now we have a Venus um, asteroid belt. So, yeah, there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And also a massive thank you for the guy who sent this um, comment in. So that was Siren001. They were the ones who sent that. So all credit for this idea goes to them. And also if you guys have any more ideas for what-if videos, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Because I do want to keep these videos up. Because these have always been fun to make. And, yeah, they're pretty much what I started my channel on as well. So, yeah, it's good to um, be back making these. But, yeah, there you go. So main conclusion is the uh, rings just orbit the sun um there so yeah there we go so if you hit um blah, 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 i'm rubbish at doing outros sometimes but yeah if you like this video let's see if we can go for 50 likes on it as well guys and also subscribe if you're new it helps on journey to 8,000. as yeah since last um episode damn the subscriber count has gone up i mean we're closing on 7,800 now just a massive massive thanks to that guys it's absolutely insane in my um big project video um, it's almost at a thousand views, so a massive thanks to that as well. I'm glad that video's done well, actually, because I did put a lot of time into it. But yeah, it's good to see a lot of you like that as well. And I'm interested um, on some of your results. On I did a poll for that video as well. So definitely watch that video if you have not. 100% I recommend that. It's one of the best things I've ever made, in my opinion. But yeah, a lot of people really seem to like that video. And yeah, I really appreciate all the feedback I received from it as well. But yeah, massive thank you for everything as well, guys. Because, yeah, we also we also hit 3 million views overall as well. So, yeah, just a massive thanks to everyone who's continually came back for our videos. It's absolutely amazing how things have gone. But, anyways, enough of me babbling on. Hopefully, you all guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.